Let's take a look and see whether Na plus H2O yields NaOH plus H2, whether this is a redox reaction or not. So we can use these rules right here to help us figure that out. So we'll assign oxidation numbers to each element, and then we'll see if we have a redox reaction. Let's do that. So free elements, these are elements with just one type of atom, like sodium or hydrogen or oxygen here. So our free elements, they have an oxidation number of zero. Sodium is zero, and then H2, that's zero. For hydrogen, when it's bonded to oxygen, or another element, hydrogen, when it's bonded to non-metals, will be plus one. So each hydrogen is plus one. And oxygen will be negative two, with a few exceptions, so negative two. And over here, we have negative two for the oxygen, plus one for the hydrogen. And sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table, that's going to be plus one. So we have our oxidation numbers. And if you need help with oxidation numbers or really anything about redox, jump over to my website there. Lots of things to help you with that. So we can look at this. We can see sodium went from zero to plus one. That increased, that changed. And hydrogen went from plus one to zero. That actually got smaller. Plus one to zero is smaller. That actually was reduced. That's our reduction. So up here is going to be oxidation, and that makes sense. The number got bigger. So we have reduction. We have oxidation. It means we have the transfer of electrons. This is a redox reaction. Na plus H2O yields NaOH plus H2. It's redox because the oxidation numbers changed. If they'd stayed the same, then it would not be a redox reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.